Hi, welcome to the third video, and this is day five and day six of the hand eye coordination program. You'll be not only improving your hand eye coordination today, you'll also be working on your reaction time, which will help your catching uh, and speed up your reactions and other things as well. So, you'll need a ball, you'll need a wall, and it, also you need a partner today. So, if you can get someone to help you, that's crucial. Okay, so before we do that, a little bit of warm up to get your hand eye coordination going. Again, just bounce on the floor, start with against the wall. Okay, pick a spot on the wall, hit bricks, some underarm throws, go to one hand catches if you're ready. Okay, different heights. Some of the drills we did on day one and day two, and day three and day four, just to make sure you're ready. This one's the last one you've got to do when you warm up, because this is how you're going to start. We did this individually last time. So you had control over where it's going to hit today, your partner's going to take over. So, first drill, my partner's going to throw it, I'm about two metres from the wall, three metres from the wall, I'm going to make a catch with two hands. Okay, let's go. Okay, yes, we're going wall floor. Okay, really important that we hit the lower half of the wall, about this height, maybe a metre high, so it bounces down nicely, so we can move the ball. Really good for wing keepers, this one. Okay, the higher up the wall, the harder it becomes. It'll bounce really near you and give you little time to catch it on the bounce. Okay, fingers pointing down for this one. Okay, get ready to move. Be on your toes, have your weight forward. Watch the ball as it comes on your peripheral vision on your right hand side if your partner's right handed. They can vary it by throwing it over your head or around the other side of your body. Okay, to try and trick you out. I'm quite lucky I can see it in the shadow as well here. Okay, they can go through your legs as well if you, if you want. Makes it really hard. You're going to have to move to the low throw. To speed it up now, they're going to go floor, wall, and they're going to skim it down so it picks up off the wall at different angles. Let's go. Okay, again, be ready to, as soon as you see the ball go past you, be ready to go forward or backwards. Okay. If you want a bit more challenge, go a little bit closer. Again, you can go between your legs, to the side of you. Okay, you can go one hand or two hands. Oh, that wall floor, just trick me out there. So I'm deliberately trying to work on my other hand here. Someone who likes to take a baseball style on the other, other side of your body. Okay, excellent. Right, we're going to move to the next bit. we we'll really start our reaction time going. So we'll go to the other wall, where we've got set up. So on this wall, I've got five numbers. You can have as many numbers as you want, or letters, or whatever. So we've got number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay, so the first drill, you don't need a ball for on this one. And your partner's just going to shout numbers, and you've got to tag the numbers as they shout them as quick as you can. Okay? Are we ready? One, three, four, five, two, three, cut. One, five, three, four, two, three, five, one, three. Okay, so we can keep doing that, and this time we're going to throw a catch in as well. So when your partner this time says, says catch, you spin round anti clockwise or clockwise, and they'll be throwing you a catch. Okay, they're going to throw you an easy catch to start with just so you know what's going to happen. Here we go. Three, four, Five, four, three, two, one, two, catch. Okay, so as soon as you spin around, spot the ball, line yourself up. One, two, three, four, catch. Okay, now, there's a few levels to make this slightly harder. First, instead of the partner being straight behind you, they can move while you're not looking to the side, either way, to change the angle of where the throw's coming. Or the other, or other level, which I'll show you both, is if you turn anti-clockwise, you're going to take it one hand on your right. If you turn clockwise, you can take it one hand on the left. So we'll try that one first, and then we'll get your partner to change the angle. Here we go. A little bit closer. Perfect. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, cut. Okay. 
One, two, three, three, two, four, three, cut. Turn it clockwise, go left hand. One, two, three, five, four, three, two, one, five, cut. Okay, now this time my partner's going to hide almost, as I'm not looking, they're going to go either a little bit to my right or a little bit to my left, so I don't know where they are, and the angle of the throw will come differently, and they're going to also throw it a little bit lower. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, four, two, one, catch. Okay, yeah, slightly different angle from the, from the throw up. One. They're going to try and hide and move slightly four, to the side. Three. Two, five, cut. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, really challenging that one. One, two, three, five, two, one, cut. Okay, right. Now the last one, similar, but this time they are going to throw it and then say catch. So the ball will already be travelling as you turn round, so you've got to spot it straight away. Again, start with them staying straight behind you, then they can move slightly to the side. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, cat. Okay, again, one hand or two hand, whatever you're confident with. One, three, five, four, two, one, cat. Okay, right. Now, there is one more drill. If you don't want to have all these numbers on the wall, and it simply goes like this. Instead of writing the numbers on the wall if your mum and dad don't want you to write the ball, all you do is you stand facing the ball, and your partner says catch. And you spin around and make a catch. And again, they could be standing straight, left, or right, so you've got to spot where they are. So let's just do that practice so you don't have to have these numbers if you don't want to. Catch. Oh, extra difficult, you're off the washing line. Catch. Okay, practice turning both ways. Cat. Anti-clockwise right hand, clockwise left hand. Cat. Okay. Right, excellent. I hope you enjoyed day five and day six. Practice those. Really work on them. If you can draw the numbers on the wall and your parents don't mind, it really helps your reaction time, not just for catching. You can do that anytime you want. Even more difficult if you add more numbers. Okay? Bye.